Gentlemen, put on your safety goggles. It is time now to imagine it. We are at the imagination station with the chief scientist, Carl Nelson, who has a block of cheese. Yes. Why not? We're going to talk about pressure. Oh, okay. Pressure is a force per area, okay? So if I sized you up and said you maybe weigh 200 pounds, each of your I feet <laughs> is supporting about 100 pounds. Okay. Um, and if you happen to be wearing a shoe like this, and if you measure this, you know, that's about maybe 10 square inches. And if you were to step on a piece of cheese or the floor, mm -hmm. that's about 10 pounds per square inch. It's not oh. going to hurt the cheese. Right. Now, I'm ignoring the obvious part here, the tiny, tiny heel, right. the quarter inch by quarter inch heel. If you were to put all your weight on that quarter inch heel. Which I don't because I don't wear heels. But if you did, <laughs> right, you could easily damage a piece of flooring, a piece that. of cheese, anything. That could be like 1,600 pounds of force if all your weight was on the the back end, yeah. okay? So, kind of dangerous. You can build up a tremendous amount of pressure with a small area. I thought we'd flip that around and put a tremendous weight or force over a lot of tiny little pointy things, ah. okay? So, we'll just get rid of that. Um, <laughs> what I have here for you, Tony, is oh, a bed of nails, yeah. okay? We got about 400 nails here. Terrific. And they are, you know, feel them. They're relatively yeah, sharp. Those we, are we did not yeah. grind them down or anything. Mm -hmm. So, what I want you to do is, you're gonna have a, you got a stool over there. I want you to hop okay. up on the table. And you're going to situate your your butt about right here. So don't oh don't put boy. yeah. So oh, but your head head oh, is up my here. Head's over head's there. Head's up there. Yeah. So kind of crab walk it's if you can. Doing this. Careful, the very sharp nails. All right, okay. that's perfect. Don't put your butt on. Lift lift oh, up. Oh, yeah, okay. get that. Just your back. Oh, Just your oh, back. Yeah. Ooh. It's like a sleep number four hundred bed. Yeah, I can feel it. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So go ahead and put that on. So what you're doing now is distributing all your weight over those four hundred nails. None of them have quite enough pressure to puncture your skin. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and put your legs down? Yeah, because I've got right. I've got another component here. My weight distribution's all off. I got another component to the bed of nails, which is the second bed of nails we're uh, gonna put on top of you. Now, if you could help stabilize this thing's a little wobbly, or your chest is a little there we go. Yeah. Go ahead and stabilize that for me. Great. So this is doing really nothing, right? Because this doesn't weigh too much. Uh -oh. But I, I have a solution for that. Uh -oh. Okay, what we can do is we can add some extra weight on top. You doing okay? I'm I'm great. Okay. We can add a little extra weight on top and before I do that, I'm gonna add a safety shield down here. Safety shield. Safety shield, go ahead and hold that there. Okay. And then we've got a cinder block to put on top of you. About 30 pounds. <laughs> okay, so you should be feeling the weight by now, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do very carefully is move your hands to cover your face. Oh, good. Yeah, interlock your thumbs. Okay. And use your elbows to stabilize the board for me. Okay. Perfect, you've got this. It's almost like you know what you're doing. Okay, know. so go ahead and stay there because the logical conclusion to this sort of demonstration is to apply a tremendous amount of force to the brick and see how you feel. Okay. Okay? So I've got a sledgehammer here. <laughs> and what I'm gonna try to do is very forcefully smash that brick while you're lying on a bed of 400 nails. Okay. All right? So I'll do a little count down here, make sure you're situated. All right, you ready? Yeah, that's great. All right, so here we go. Here we go, three, two, one. All right. Are you okay? Um, yeah, you know. Yeah, okay, let's see. So hang on a sec. I'll help you up. Thanks. And I don't know if you can, oh, look at your, you can't look at your back, but the camera can look at your back. <laughs> Go ahead and hop up and show everybody what back there of your you lab go. coat. You've got Baby this got back. beautiful pattern of <laughs> nails, but I don't see any blood, no puncturing, right? You doing okay? I'm doing terrific. This okay. is Carl's house of acupuncture, so. Now, the breaking the brick actually <laughs> was a little bit kind of a, an interesting thing because it's not so much about force and pressure as it is about having a crumple zone. When I smashed that brick, um, with a sledgehammer, the sledge the brick absorbed most of that energy. I mean, you still felt probably I a I still thug. felt some of the energy. You felt, okay. Right. But, you know, crumple zones in cars are designed just for that reason. So if you have a crash, some of that energy goes into crumpling the front of the car mm -hmm. as opposed to being transferred directly into your body. So if you're ever driving a car and he's holding a sledgehammer, you want a crumple zone, you can come on down to the Imagination Station. They're open today. And if you live in Lucas County, you have a kid who lives in Lucas County, a paid adult admission, get that kid in for free on Saturdays only. And then you're also also open this Monday. We are. It's a holiday, but we are open, so come down and check out everything we have. Right. You also have something coming up next weekend. The Dino Snore. It's a really cool event where you can actually sleep with the dinosaurs. It's an overnight sleep in. Um, check out our website, imaginationstationtoledo.org, but we have flashlight tours, wow. we'll have workshops, we'll have activities all related to dinosaurs, and you can literally spend the night with the dinosaurs. Well, you better sign up for that, but don't yeah. sign up for this, because that's <laughs> how you imagine it.